what is the next subject matter for a game review? Let's see, let's see. Oh my, what can we get in here? Oh wait, what's this? Ah, yes. Ogre. A Steve Jackson game. Well, let's see what we got. Roll that intro, please. Okay, first of all, what in the world is a ogre? Well, it's not that. This is. It's basically a robotic, giant AI driven tank set somewhere in a distant future. It's a board game that was created by Steve Jackson back in 1977. And this game is a very old um, board game. And this copy that I'm reviewing is from the latest sixth edition of this game well this is what you're gonna get from the looks of it mostly hex base and tokens and some cardboard 3d miniatures representing the ogres and the command post so there's basically some a little bit of assembly but not that much as for the box the design it's pretty um average and decent for today's standards and it's not bad for the sixth edition of this um game that came out from the late 70s many spin-offs from this game so enough about that let's see what you're gonna get inside the box and here's is what you're gonna get the small instruction manual not that much and here are the cardboard tokens for your ogres and command posts this is basically the cardboard 3d miniatures and here are the hex tokens the blue one represents the pan european and the red black stuff is the North American Combine. This is basically two of their faction. And these are the tokens for the Pan-European. Mostly tanks, infantry, and artilleries and all that stuff. More on that one. And you can see here is the board. It's not that much. It's a cardboard board. So it's, a fairly, it's fairly decent when you open it up. So, and sturdy. So you're not gonna worry about damage in this one it's gonna last you a while at least you decide to throw it away that's your initiative and it comes with a 2d6 dice and as you can see that symbol that's the pan european and the north american for the one so it's very decent and sturdy and as you can see the little box area that's where you're gonna put all your tokens once you punch them out for your vehicle and nothing there from behind and now let's see what's in the layout as you can see here this is what it's represent with the tokens instruction manual and uh, more of the mobile modular tokens and for the ogres and mobile command post and command post this is just pretty basic this is basically like a starter set so there are more additions to expand on your force and expand about them with future additions so this is just basically a starter here is the tokens for the vehicles and as you can see over there is the gev for the north american combines and here are the artilleries for the pan-european and infantry tanks and he heavy tanks and gvs when you turn the back you can see them when it gets damaged so they can be immobilized when your ogres attack them 
and that's basically how the stats for these games are it's really easy to um read and here are the 3d punch out stuff so you a little bit you can easily assemble this within five minutes and you can get ready so and these are all the ogres for the north american combine and those are like pizza i mean um bombed out craters but they look like pizza to me and as you can see this is the map layout i will do a layout once i'm done explaining this and here is like the instruction manual it's not much and the game components it's just only a few page and here are the stats for the ogres because the ogres here takes damage so you can take out their treads weapons to slow them down so basically you're defending your base from the north american combine attacks from the ogres using conventional weapons of the future and here are the stats like i said it's not that much it'll explain everything in here you need and you can get this game immediately playing after that now here's the layout how the game works like i said you have to defend your command post from the north american ogres and as you can see you have three ogres for the north americans you get the mark 3 and the mark 5 ogres and over here is the GEV from the North American Combine. I'm glad they added a little bit of that one as their conventional weapon. And here is the Pan-Europeans with their mobile command posts and command posts. And here are a lot of the tokens for like infantry and, mo and some artillery, missile tanks and GEVs and infantry and tanks. Like the he it's just basically heavy tanks. And this is how you go through the board game the, and that's how the layout for this scenario so there's are multiple scenarios you can um make or follow you could but you have to go online for that one and as you can see like here like i said earlier these represents are the immobilized um vehicles and once that Immobilize. You can probably have to wait a turn before it runs again. As for the infantry, they don't have they don't suffer some imm immobilization, but they they immediately lose stats, and you have to flip them. You can also have some stacking units in here, so that's I believe that's part of the rule in here. So the, I'm just skimming through this, guessing through that one. So as you can see, these are just a cardboard layout, but you can still upgrade them. To miniatures so this is basically the plastic miniatures but there are um metal one created by Ral Parta you remember them the one that make the Battletech miniatures back in the past days but this is the plastic stuff that just came out from the battle box of ogre the ogre miniatures game and this is the set one of that stuff so you can just transfer them off with this you can use these miniatures to play ogre using this hex as you can see here it's just the same stats except it's more 3d representation on them and you can see the these are the the fencer design for the north american ogre and they had their own ogres after um, securing some copies. They actually had their own. They copied the ogres from the North American Combine once they captured England from the North American Combine. And they got some few templates for them to make. But they decided to make their own stuff. So there is um, ogre and ogre battle here. So you're not limited. But here are the missile tanks. The artilleries and the heavy tanks and infantries as for also the GEVs and as you can see this is the layout for the mark 3 ogres and mark 5s for the North American combine and you can see the here are the cards for it and you can use that stuff there to um, mark it down so it's pretty cool looking to um, deal with 
and there's also another set of ogres in here like the mark six i believe and i'll show you when that's ready and as you can see it's not much so if you don't like using the hex base you can use that for ogre miniatures like using um inches instead or using regular tabletop game so this is basically the layout for this game if you want to um upgrade your game now let's move on to the comparison here is the command post using the cardboard and the cardboard um min miniatures of the ogres with the plastics here are the artillery the infantry the gev the heavy tank and the missile tank and the command post from the plastics and it's really for the cardboard ogres and the plastic they're pretty much up to scale compared to their plastic counterparts and this is a mark 5 ogres along with the mark 3 ogres so it's basically close to comparison i don't have anything to compare with the pan european ogres because they don't have it on this set but they later editions they do add some 3d ogres for them my final overall thought for this starter set for ogre get it added it to your collection because it's one of those classic board games that will it's easy to learn and fun to play so it's pretty decent it doesn't have to be um all 3d miniature and painting because you have the token but if you want to upgrade you can do that with um ogre miniatures hell they even have a just finished the kickstarter for wave four of that miniatures with the plastic for the combine all that all that um combine conventional stuff so it's right there so there is a cult following for this um classic game so it's they're doing something right unfortunately for the some of the miniatures like ogre miniatures they are um out of print so i was gonna review the ogre miniatures battle box but it's unavailable so warehouse 23 is the one that's supplying it so they are um check them out and you'll probably get a decent price or a lucky release but if you don't want to play the miniatures try the video game there it's on steam on a cheap price or in a console you can experience the whole set in there against the ai it has a good story i'm actually playing on it so it's a very interesting game it's one of those games that just came out of nowhere for me and it's like and then it's been around for a long time even before games workshop so i recommend getting this game as much as you can and add it to your collection plus you can use battletech map hex map on this one if you need some new scenery it's compatible to those catalyst maps that you get for the battle tech as of late so what else do you want it's a very decent game so i recommend get it so this is de leon francis 60 signing off now i need to defend my command post from the ogres and happy wargaming everyone is anybody hungry for some pizza?